is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. I'm not going to spend too much time on this clown, but he indeed is a clown. Cam Newton was on Shannon Sharp's podcast, and the dude is out here slang and dangling, making babies. And I just feel that it's something that is disgusting when you have people that are like, well, he's got the money to take care of him. He's just looking like a whole clown. And I'm not even talking about the way he dresses and the way he looks. I just I just have so much I could say about it, but I'm not really going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to let him say it. Eight kids. Yes, Eight. Mm. You done? I want more. What? Six flags, baby. <laughs> man, just man. Come on, Cam. Hey, man. Look, but but this is what they this is what they say. What they say? Who say that? They, I don't know who they is because I'm gonna find them and put some on them. But people say, <laughs> okay, you having all these kids? I take care of all my kids. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. Yeah. I always wanted a big family. I come from that, so I want that. And it, I, I owe a due diligence to each woman who get given me that. Yeah. And I respect them the same. Do I have jurisdiction of who they talk to? No. But I owe a service to loving them unconditionally, no matter what they do. And we have to co-parent together. How, how do you? Because, look, Cam, these women wanted to be with you. Mm. Let's be one. Let's be all the way one thousand. Come on with it. These women wanted to be with you. Mm-hmm. You're not with. You're not with this one. You have a one or two kids with this one. Have one kid over here. Now you're with the. I think you're with this. The one you had the last kid with. Yeah. The previous like. Well, hold on. What special? Why she get to be with you now? You don't left me with five over here or two over here. Why she? Why she special? Well, I'm gonna mess it up for you. No, you can't, you can't. You can't. It's, it's, it's a respect. Right. And we can't allow our personal vendettas to get in, in, in between raising these children. You see what I'm saying? I do. And did I want it to be this way? When I was 7, 12 years old, I wanted to have a, a family. I wanted to be married with a house and a picket fence and all that. That just wasn't what my life panned out to be. I proudly say I have eight children, six biologically through me. Right. And I don't believe in stepchildren. What my biological kids get, everybody get. I don't have no favors. I'm raising kings and queens, and I have uncomfortable conversations with my children. Is you fucking? Hey, is you smoking weed? Is you drinking? No, I don't, I don't patty cake with that. I'm very hands-on. I, I do go to football practice. I do go to basketball practice, track practice, tennis practice. Because I want them to see what a positive male figure is in their life. I'm not just out here just slaying and leaving. Right. No. I grew up in a three-parent household. My mom, my father, as well as my grandmother. And yes, sir, no, sir, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am was... You missing something? Yes, sir. I ain't. I ain't know what. Huh? What? Yeah. What? What? Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah, no, nah, it's yes. <laughs> it's yes, sir. It's no and no, ma'am. Look at look me in my eye when I'm talking to you, mm-hmm. as a measure of respect, but also understanding that you you are digesting and processing yeah, what I'm saying. Make sure you understand. You you're listening and understanding. See, what those I'm saying. things. It's like I always tell the parents that that come through our program, just like the the players. What this society needs is for parents to be parents. We don't need no more friends, home friend, home girls, and you know he just he all right. He gonna be good. No, give that dude, give the Tay Tay and, and John John a curfew. Right. They failing math, science, and all yeah. that. And I don't yeah. give a damn how he can catch the ball. Yeah. He ain't gonna go to college. They might be Gen X, but they can't say they're ABC. Come on now. They can recite a rap song, but oh. they can't recite yeah. all these different things. Like, I'm telling you. So that comes from the, the, the way that they're being raised. 
And when we start putting the onus back on the parents, that's when society will change. But it, it's, it's difficult, Cam, when you've been in a situation for an ex a, a long period of time. If I'm not mistaken, I think the first situation, you've been in that situation for probably about a decade. Mm. Um, and to, to leave, yes. and I'm, you know, I'm sure it was a very un a very uncomfortable conversation that you had to have. Yeah, but things happen, though. Okay. And as you know, when, you know, we we all in the public eye try to keep personal. Yes. Personal. Uh-huh. But I want to be an example for people that I've never proclaimed to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Learn from me. Right. We can talk about everything. And I think when you look at my career, JUCO, high school, professional, I've been that guy for a long period of time. I had a lot of temptations. I had a lot of mess ups along that way, too. So that's why I'm relatable to these kids, my kids or anybody else's. I know what you're going through, bro. But that don't mean you can't fail this class, because if you fail the class, you're not going to pass clearinghouse. Talk to me. I, 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 I done did a lot. Just because of who you see today don't mean I ain't been through a lot. Man. And they always try to put that on how old you are. I'm like, no, nah, bro, I done been through a lot of stuff, bro. Some things that I'm proud to say and some things that I'm not proud to say. Listen, if that doesn't show proof that you can raise your children and raise them well and they can still fall off and just make their own choices and decisions. I, I don't know what else does because eight kids and yeah, two of them are not his biological. Okay, cool. We commend you. You're, he calls them stepchildren, but he's not married. So technically, but fine, you are taking care of some other kids that are not biologically yours. Applause, kudos, fine. But you can't say you're raising eight children and you have a family when they're all in different places. And just because you right now are financially able to take care of them does not mean that you're raising them. And I, it, 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 there's the double standards, of course. If this, was a, if this was a woman that had all of these different children by several different guys, you already know what it is. You know, especially let's just call it for what it is in the African-American community. So him sitting there and saying the things that he was saying and trying to make it sound logical and trying to sound like he's an upstanding individual and all of these other things that he was saying, it was just like, you're still wrong. You were with these women. You were... I'm assuming at some point in some form of a relationship, I don't believe that all of these chicks are just like, yeah, just give me a baby and go about your merry way and make sure that I get that check. And Shannon even said it. He said, you're currently with one of them, the last one for now. You're not married. Who's, who's going to be next? Because he said he wants more. It's just gross. I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. I'm not going to spend too much time on him, but you can let me know what you think. And so OJ, we know he just passed away, but <laughs> he did his last interview with Cameron and Mace a couple of months before he passed. And he had something to say, and it's... Mm, Let's just go ahead and, and play what he had to say. Said men shouldn't open up to women because they'll use it against them. He said whenever something go down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Do y'all agree? OJ first. OJ first. Uh, <laughs> when you say open up to women, I don't know what he's talking about. Is he talking about confessing? confessing. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, man, don't, don't confess. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think you're right. Don't say nothing. It was your, it was, it was your lying eyes. <laughs> so leave me out of the confession. <laughs> oh, no confession. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I got to leave me out of it. All these episodes. <laughs> Yeah, who's 
Ne? Ne o kadar şimdi? Ne o kadar? Oh my goodness. Yo, I'm gonna kill a birthday. This is classic. It's swine. Yeah. Oh, swine. Oh, swine. Look, man. Mm. Look at that. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I don't even have too much to say. I could say a lot, but him saying, leave me out of the confession. Of course, Shaq, when he asked the question, he was talking about you know, infidelity. Now, we already know when it comes to OJ and you hear confession, what most people are thinking about. So what do you think about this in light of his recent passing? And this was like one of the last interviews that he did. And this was a question that was asked of him. Just let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Look, the man ain't here no more. He was found not guilty in criminal court, but he was found liable in civil court. And that family, the the Goldman's, they still want their money. And, (laughs) and they look, it looks like they're going to try to come after the estate. But what I did hear was that he had family members sign NDAs before he passed away. I like, okay, well, he isn't here anymore. So he can't sue him. <laughs> and I'm not even trying to be funny, but come on, seriously, y'all already know how I feel about these non-disclosure agreements when it's used for manipulative tactics. But that's neither here nor there. Some people are saying OJ RIP and some people are saying rest in hell. Listen, it's however people feel is how they feel. So you can let me know how you feel in the comment section below. So thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye.